Look at this, a glorious day in Selsey. And I'm gonna give you three of my main reasons you should buy one of these BMW Z4s. Number one, they're fast. Number one was they're fast. They go round bends fast as well, not just on the straight. You can really get the corners hard with these. Sound amazing. I've seen a Z3 this week on Facebook Marketplace for 1200 quid and to be honest they're quite a nice little car but they're no Z4 but these Z4s are cheap and I think they're now at their lowest price 2 litre one I wouldn't bother with you can get them for around 2 grand but I think for a little bit more just under 3000 pounds you can get yourself a really nice 2.5 and I mean nice this one's got 130,000 miles on the clock it's a really tidy car it's had everything done to it it's got full service history and it was just under 3,000 pounds an auto trader so you can pick up these for so you know little money for what they are and that's definitely a reason to buy one because I don't think you'll lose any money on one pick it up now for you know two thousand no two two and a half three three grand and it's never gonna go lower than that I can't see these ever going below two grand to be honest they're a lot of car for the money and you know number three what should we do for number three I haven't even thought of a number three they're just brilliant they're just <laughs> well no it's not a reason but they are just brilliant, you can't... And the roof comes off in under 10 seconds. The roof comes off in under 10 seconds. Automatic gearbox is brilliant at these. You know, they, they're five speed, really quick. Six cylinder, they sound great. I've got to say, number three is the sound. They just sound amazing. They're not like your four pots. They have a lovely straight six. So, loads of reasons to buy one. Don't buy one if you're a fat bastard, because you won't fit in it. I'm not small, but I'm short, and I still don't really fit. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. So, I'd say if you're over, you know, 15 stone, I wouldn't bother, mate, because you're not gonna be comfortable. Other things against it, really. Uh, I don't know. Can I think of anything against it? Do you know, it's one of the only cars I've ever had that I really struggle to find negatives about. I mean, I don't like convertibles. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't have a convertible out of choice, but they look lovely. Um, but I would rather have a hard roof car. But they look stunning with the roof off. They're absolutely beautiful car. Um, negatives, I can't think. Can you think of any negatives about this car? Ralph? No. About the Z4? I just can't. I just can't do it. I haven't even got it in sports mode that goes like shit off a shovel. Um, in sports mode, it transforms the car. Right, we're in sports mode now. It's dropped a gear. The steering is slightly stiffer. The suspension is slightly stiffer. And it just makes the car sporty but it's refined it's got a big boot even you can't complain about the boot we've just seen we've put 
shopping in the back and there's loads of room. I mean, you could probably get in the boot. Probably, probably go and kill someone and put them in the boot and take them home and dump them. <laughs> if that's what you so desire. Yeah, yeah it's stupid. It's an old one. <laughs> but yeah, I, honestly, I don't... I, they're not even juicy. You can't even say they're expensive to run. There's nothing really negative about these cars apart from the size if you're fat if you're tall you will struggle but apart from that the reliability is good the engineering's good the fuel economy is brilliant for a car like this it's fast it's fun holds the road everything works nothing seems to go wrong with them i just can't think of any negatives and that is massive for me that's massive because I'm always negative about everything you know I, things have their positives but I always find negatives but I can't with this it's just I don't know if it was bigger I'd keep it forever and ever if I made a four seater I'd definitely keep it <laughs> it's just a shame that only two seats but it's a roadster at the end of the day and that's what a roadster is. The only thing wrong with this car is some twat, I mean some silly person has put two CDs in the CD player so, so they came along and thought oh I know I'll put a CD in and there was already one in there and now they're stuck in there and I can't get it out. So that will take a bit of investigating and maybe you need another stereo I don't know, but the radio works really well. And even the stereo system is good in it. So we've got good stereo, air conditioning, everything works. Traction control, you can turn it off. Don't really need to. Um, it hasn't got a liberty slip diff anyway, so you couldn't drift it much if you tried really. So it's uh, not really a drift car. So that was, I suppose that's one negative, is that they didn't put a li limited slip diff in this car. If they'd done that, I think it would have been even better. That was the only thing I could think of improvement. This one's a bit of a higher ride than some you could probably do with going down a bit, but it might have spoiled the ride quality if you did that. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I can't think of really anything. Apart from getting stuck behind tractors, that's really annoying for the whole of the duration of the video when you're supposed to be trying to show everyone your exhaust sound. Shit happens. Ain't gonna get past that. It's rush hour. Still a pleasurable drive though. You just have to back off that's what you gotta do when you wanna. <laughs> You love it, Alf, don't you? Love it. You love yes. it. Oh, come on! Out of the way! <laughs> I'll be back to the bloody wherever that is. Yeah. When you put it in sports mode, you really feel all the gear changes. It really makes you, even though it's an automatic, it makes you feel like driving a proper fast car and transformed it into a little animal. It's really like the throttle's throttle just so responsive. Just so much different than when it's in normal mode. It's just amazing really what a little button can do. When it's not in sports mode it's quite just normal and a little bit soft. Just that touch of a button and this transforms into a beast. Now, should I get a back box deleted? Now, loads of people do it, but I don't think I'm going to keep this car long enough to do it. I'd love to, just to see what it sounds like. But for the cost, I think I'm better selling the car and buying something a bit bigger. Had a bit of fun with this car. We've lived a dream. Alfie had 
had one of these as a kid, he built it from scratch, from a kit. He's always wanted to go in one, always wanted one. And we bought one, just so he could have a go in one. So, we've done it, we've been there, we need to move on to something else. So if anyone wants to buy this car, you're more than welcome. And I'll sell it for just over £3,000. And it's worth every penny. It looks like a 10 grand car. Easily. You park this next to anything and it looks good. It looks like it's worth at least 10 grand. But it's, it's not. And I don't know who's to blame for that. I don't know if it's the sellers or the buyers really. You know, like the, the sellers obviously put them up for a low price so the buyers are willing to pay a low price. But I'm sure that if you put this, if all these cars were priced dearer, if all these cars were over five grand or ten grand and there wasn't any cheap ones they would still sell people would still buy them because they are such a good car they're such a nice car so you can only blame the sellers really I think people just want to get rid of them in the winter because they've got no garage or they think they don't want a convertible in the winter but this is fine it's got a lovely I've driven this in the rain and it's lovely you put the put the roof up and it's all cosy in here, it's like a little cosy nest really. Oh, I'll be in. So that's it, that concludes our video. So thank you for watching. Like my videos and subscribe if you are into cars because I'm going to be buying some cars and uh, doing some reviews on them. Um, yeah, I'll definitely, definitely buy a Z4. Keep it in the garage. You can have a feet for 10 years and I'm sure you'll make a fortune because they ain't going to rust away. They're too, they're too nice. So uh, yeah, happy YouTubing.